This is lesson two of unit 10. And in this unit, dealing with stoichiometry, we will take a look at episode two problems. Now, episode two requires two steps for us to solve them. And there are two possible types of problems. Uh, in episode one, we went from moles to moles. Here, we're going to do one more step. We're going to go from moles to grams. So in episode two, you're either going from moles of one substance to grams of another, or you're going from grams of one substance to moles of another. And this will require two steps because moles to moles is going to be one step. The second step will be moles to grams. Notice in both of these, you have a moles to moles step, you have a moles to gram step. And this will make more sense as we do a few example problems. So two step problems. The same equation that we're dealing with as we've dealt with before. In this case, here's what we ask. If we need, or if we begin with 51.1 grams of NH3, how many moles of H2O will form? So notice we're beginning with grams of one substance, and then we're, begin, we're asked for moles of another substance. This will require two steps, because we first have to go from grams to moles, and then from moles to moles. Let's go ahead and set this up um, as we've done before, beginning with the number given. So we have 51.1, and we have grams of NH3. Very important to label these so it's easy to follow what is done where. This will be a, an episode two problem involving two steps. So let's go ahead and write out two steps for this one. Now, as before, if we begin with grams of NH3, grams of NH3 must go at the bottom. Now, this first step will actually convert for us from grams to moles. So here's what the first step will look like. Now, this here is actually something you've done before more than a few times. This is a grams to mole conversion. Anytime we convert from grams to moles, the numbers come from the periodic table. So we can put that here, periodic table. And the number, again, will come from the elements. So nitrogen, for example, that 14.01, here is the molar mass or the grams in a mole. And that's why we're uh, using this number. So anytime we go from grams to moles, one will always go for the moles. And the mass will come from the periodic table. In this case, you'll have to add up nitrogen and three hydrogens. And if you add those up, you should get yourself 17.04 grams for your molar mass. Now, for the second number, or for the second uh, conversion, we have moles of NH3. So that has to go on the bottom. Moles of NH3 must go on the bottom. And then we're asked to convert to moles of H2O. We'll put that on top. Moles of H2O. Now here, this is actually an episode one problem. This is where we convert from moles of one substance to moles of the other. And the numbers for this conversion will come from the balanced equation. So here, moles of NH3 are four, moles of H2O are six. So we'll put four and we'll put six. Okay, let's go ahead and calculate this out and then we'll think through it one more time. So do 51.1 multiplied by one, which will give you the same thing, divided by 1704. Multiply by 6 and divide by 4. This should give you a final answer of 4.498 or 4.50 to use significant figures. So our final answer is 4.50. The units would be moles of H2O. That's what we ended up with because these all canceled out. So we have moles of H2O as our final answer. Now. Go ahead and take a step back and think through what we did here. We began with grams of one substance. We first converted that substance to moles. And then we went from moles of that substance to moles of another substance. In the first case, here, we use the periodic table conversions. In the second step, we use the balanced equation conversions. And this is how you would do a two-step problem. Now, example two is the same thing, only involving two different substances. So why don't we take a look at that? This is example, uh, the second example, example four. So here we're asked if we have this many moles of oxygen, how many grams of NH3 would we have? So now we're beginning with moles and ending with grams. In the previous one, we began with grams, ended with moles. Let's set it up again. So we got 1.5 moles of O2. That's our beginning. This is a two step because we go from grams of one to moles of another. So we have to put moles of O2 on the bottom. We have to put moles of the other substance 
of NH3, the one we're converting. So essentially, we're going from moles of O2 from this to this one. Now, the relationship is 5 to 4. So 5 moles of O2 for every 4 moles of NH3. Anytime you go from moles to moles, you have to use the coefficients from the balanced equation. The second step, since we have moles of NH3 here, let's put moles of NH3 at the bottom. And then we're asked for grams of NH3, and that's what we'll put on top, grams of NH3. Now, the relationship between moles and grams comes from the periodic table. One mole is 17.04 grams. We just figured this out in the previous example. So in this case, notice, we flipped it. We began with moles, and then first converted to moles, and then to grams. So let's go ahead and calculate this. Do 1.5 times 4 divided by 5 times 17.04 divided by 1 which should give you roughly 20.48 or 20 grams of NH3, since this is what we're ending up with, so 20 grams of NH3. I put a decimal there to make sure the zero is significant. Okay, so hopefully this one made a little more sense. Uh, pause it, look through it. I've got a few example problems for you to try on your own following this exam uh, exact uh, setup. So go ahead and try example problem three, and go ahead and try example problem four. Okay, let's finish up with some episode three problems. Now, episode three requires three steps, and here is why we require three steps. We have a mole to mole step that's going to be in the middle, and then before that, we'll do a gram to mole step, and after that, we'll do a gram to mole step. So there are two gram to mole steps and one mole to mole step, all together for three steps. And essentially what we're doing is we're combining the two concepts from episode one and episode two and putting them together here. So let's go ahead and do a few example problems. We'll do two example problems with the same equation that we've uh, been working on. Okay, and here is what an episode three problem looks like. If we begin with this many grams of NH3, how many grams of H2O will be produced? So this is a grams to grams conversion. Grams to grams requires three steps. This will be a little tight, so I'll write it a little smaller. But the process is the same. Begin with the number given, 54.9 grams of NH3. This will be three steps, so let's go ahead and set up one, two, three steps in this problem. Now, since we begin with grams of NH3, that's what we have to put at the bottom, grams of NH3. We're going to first convert to moles of NH3, of our first substance. Then we're going to go from moles of NH3 to moles of our second substance. Our second substance is H2O, moles of H2O. And finally, we'll go from moles of H2O to grams of H2O. Okay, so let's, before we begin the problem, let's see the outline of it. <clears throat> Essentially, we're asked to go from grams of NH3 to grams of H2O. To do that, we have to go through the moles. This is because the relationship between NH3 and H2O is given to us in moles not in grams. So what we have to do is first convert to grams, then go to moles, and then we'll convert back to grams. Okay, so anytime you convert from moles to grams, the relationship again is from the periodic table. And we know that one mole of NH3 we've already calculated is 17.04 grams of NH3. Now, this should be a four. When we go from moles to moles, we see that the number, those numbers come from the balanced equation. So we have four moles of NH3 for six moles of H2O. And then finally, if we go from moles to grams of H2O, that comes from the periodic table. And we know that one mole of H2O, if you total up from the periodic table, oxygen and hydrogen, you get 18.02 grams. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate this out. Begin with 54.9, multiply by 1, which gives you the same thing, divide by 1704, multiply by 6, Let's try that again. I lost track a little bit of it. So go and do this on your own and see what you get. Divide by 1704 times 6 divided by 4 times 1802. This should give you, in the end, 87.1 grams of H2O, since that is what we're ending with. So this should be your final answer. Okay? 
Take a look at it, think through it. Let's do one more example problem of an episode three uh, style, and uh, then we'll give you some examples uh, to try on your own. Okay? So, this last problem that we'll do together is also in episode three because <coughs> we're going from grams of one substance. Here it says we need to produce 15.0 grams of NO, and then how many grams of O2 should be shelled? Should we produce? So, or should we start with? We're going from grams of one substance to grams of another. Since we're going from grams to grams, this is again an episode three problem. Begin with 15 grams of NO. Let's put that down, 15 grams, 15.0 to be exact, grams of NO. And then this will be an episode three problem, so three conversion factors. In the first conversion factor then, we will have to put grams of NO to moles of NO. We're always converting from grams to moles first. Then we'll go from moles of NO to moles of our second substance, which is O2, moles of O2. And then finally, we'll go from moles of O2 to grams of O2. So the setup is very similar to the previous example. And anytime you go from grams to moles, remember that relationship comes from the periodic table. So if you add up Nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen is 14, oxygen is 16. So you get 30.01 to be exact. Then as you go from moles of one to moles of the other, the relationship is here. Four moles of NO or five moles of O2. So you have four moles of NO, five of O2. And then finally, if you go from grams to moles, you use the periodic table again. So one mole of O2. Don't forget if it's oxygen two, you have to add up two oxygens, which gives you 32 grams from the periodic table. Let's go ahead and do this calculation. Begin with your 15. Multiply by 1, divide by 30.01. Multiply by 5, divide by 4, and multiply by 32. In the end, you should get yourself 19.99 or 20.0 grams of oxygen, of O2. And then here is the second problem. Okay, hopefully this makes sense. Um, again, if we analyze the problem, what we see is that we have, we're beginning with one substance, or we're first converting it to moles, then we're converting from that substance to another. For that, we have to use the balanced equation. That's where we use these coefficients. And then we're going from moles of that second substance to grams to make sure we go from grams of one to grams of another. So go ahead and try a few example problems on your own. Try these last two, and then We'll practice this in class and give you a worksheet to go over it. So this completes first lesson two of unit 10.